What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box break video. Today we're going back to 1989 NBA Hoops. Uh, these are the Series 2 boxes. The way you can tell is the writing down here. There's less writing on the Series 1 boxes. The Series 1 boxes you can get, you know, the Jordan cards. There's Jordan uh, base card, Jordan All-Star card. You got David Robinson rookie where he's holding the jersey. Um, this one does not have the jersey. David Robinson rookie, it has the one where he's shooting which is worth far less. Uh, I actually just checked all the prices on this stuff, and most of it's gone down uh, since we lasted our video, our last videos. Um, you know, the hype with, with the Jordan documentary and everything like that definitely bumped the prices up on the Jordan and Phil Jackson, um, Pippen, Rodman, all those guys. Um, Steve Kerr. The Steve Kerr rookie's now like a little over 100 bucks. And uh, the Phil, same with the Phil Jackson. Both the Jordans are over 100 bucks. Um, never noticed before. You can see that card right through the plastic. Um, but the David Robinson rookies have been going up. Um, I was quite surprised. Uh, the one where he's holding the jersey, which comes out of Series 1, is now selling for over $500. And this card is completely damaged. It's over $500 on the PSA 10. And I do have a bunch of those at PSA right now. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, looks like we got a couple of All-Star cards in here. Three All-Star cards in this one. A couple of um, Hall of Famers as well. Lots of Hall of Famers in here. This one's completely ruined. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Jordans are still holding over 100. Uh, Pippen is like 40, 50 bucks now. Um, Phil Jackson's over, still about 100. And same with the Steve Kerr. Man, that's like Bode. <laughs> You guys in here let me know we got jorge james is in here ripping vintage um this is the latest yeah I, i've done uh later live streams in the past it's just been a, it's just been a while busy with other stuff joe demars kevin McHale. so but yeah the david robinson holding a jersey which is out of series one it's going for like five five hundred and fifty dollars now and then the Series 2, which was like an $80 card, that's now like 150 So for whatever reason, his card's like more than doubled in price. Uh, David Robinson, you know, he's a Hall of Famer and everything. Just these Hoops cards are just, they're very, very easy to get for cheap. I think I picked up these boxes for like I don't know, 35 bucks a box or something. The Series 1s, you might pay a little bit more. I'd have to check the current market. But now with that David Robinson selling for 500 bucks, like... Might be worth it to pick up a case of boxes or something. Magic Johnson. There's Jerry Sloan who passed away. All the old names of 1989. Bill Cartwright. There's a Drexler with some sort of a stain on it. Not sure how that happens. These are brand new. Um, some of these boxes come with uh, plastic around the box. Some of them just don't. I don't think from the factory. I mean straight out of the box. There's Rick Smith. So that's a rookie card. There's probably some rookies in here I'll probably end up pulling later. Can't remember all the, all the different rookies, but there's there's a Phil Jackson right there. And a Jordan right behind it. That's, I forgot about the order, but yeah, you get the Phil Jackson, and then you get the Jordan uh, All-Star card right behind it. Yeah, I heard about Tom Seaver. That's, that sucks. Hall of Famer passed away. Uh, sad news. He was in his like, early 70s. Um, these are a lot of times off-center. You can see that left to right is pretty off-centered. And the back's usually always off-centered, but if the front's off-centered, sometimes the back isn't. But it still is. So that's... Oop, forgot to turn my notification. Sorry about that, guys. I had to turn my notification off. Kind of just forgot there. But yeah, the Phil Jackson's looking pretty good. Same with the Jordan. Mostly you got the issue with the centering on these. So you're going to probably have a lot of nines. Some eights even. Stockton... Um, in basketball news, the uh, Celtics got beat, surprisingly. Uh, they were up 2 nothing in the series, and um, the, uh, <clears throat> the Raptors got a shot off and .5 seconds left on the clock from 3, and Anobi drained it. It's pretty sick. Um, I still think the Celtics are going to have no, no problem sealing the deal, probably in 5 or 6 games. Uh, just my opinion on that. Um. But there are some guys on the like Nance, Will Purdue. There are some guys on the uh, Raptors I like. I'm buying. 
12 people in here. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button, we got one like. I got four boxes of these. We'll see how many we can want to get through. Also, the Clippers are playing right now. Uh, they're looking like they're probably going to win that game against the uh, the Nuggets or whatever. I was surprised they got they beat out the Jazz. That was very surprising. Um, some some pretty uh, close calls. Also worried about the uh, Bucks. I don't know if the Bucks are going to have too easy of a time winning that now. They're down 2-0. Two, two oh. Larry Bird, very nice. Ooh, that one looks pretty nicely centered. I need a good PSA 10 Larry Bird. I don't, I don't know if I've pulled one yet. That looks really good. Akeem Olajuwon, before he had the H in his name. There's Barkley. Hornacek, that's another rookie. Jeff Hornacek. Hornacek, however you want to say it. Uh, appreciate the like. I got Malone. Still haven't seen uh, Steve Kerr or the David Robinson. Joe DeMars. Yeah, Series 2 only had the David Robinson where he's shooting the ball. That, that one's worth a lot less than the Series 1 because, you know, the Series 1 is considered pretty much his flagship for the hoops anyways. Um, which makes sense. The first card to come out is going to be worth more money. But, I mean, still, Series 2 is about 150 bucks in a 10. In a 10. Here's a, a David Robinson. These these have gone down quite quite a bit, too. These are only going for like 30 bucks or so in a 10. But this one's actually looking really, really nicely centered, which is rare. Most most of the time they're off-centered. So we got Jordan, uh, Phil Jackson, and Rodman so far. Plus, you know, Larry Bird, if you want to count him in there. No sports cards. Yeah, most Walmarts are pretty dry right now. I hit some stores, but I've been coming up empty-handed. It's one of the reasons why... I, haven't really gone out too much just because it's you spend a lot of time trying to search for cards and then if you come up at, you know empty handed you just kind of wasted all your time and gas and everything else so lately I've just been buying cards online and um, there's no sets that I immediately want to buy too much into right now definitely uh, update baseball when that comes out and of course any basketball that I can find of course, I'm you know waiting for that next year to come out with uh, the draft pick cards and stuff like that. I think next next year's draft isn't going to be as exciting as this year. Columbo's in the house. What's going on? Doing good. Detroit Pistons, world champions. Yeah, they won a few for a few years there and beat the Bulls out. And then when the Bulls beat them, they walked off and didn't shake hands or anything. That was like the whole thing back then. I guess one of the reasons why people think that Isaiah Thomas didn't go to the um, the Olympics, the dream team. Kevin Johnson, that's a Kevin Johnson's rookie as well. So yeah, there's some good good players in here. There's uh, Larry Bird again, Carl Malone, Mitch Richmond. Still no Steve Kerr. There's the Jordan base. Nice. Finally got a Jordan base. You can see they're like all almost always off centered. Um, nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if the update's gonna be out. Oh, this one's got a little ding in the corner. It's pretty badly off centered, anyways. Probably like eight centering. Yeah, I think they're saying update baseball. My buddy told me it was probably gonna be a little late this year. Kevin McHale, Jerry Sloan, Craig Elo. Bill Cartwright, Danny Ainge, Kim Olajuwon. There we go. Hard to believe this set's already over 30 years old now. Crazy. 1989. Still so many people with these cars. Like, you go on eBay and it's so many boxes that are still unopened. That's why $500 for that David Robinson rookie is pretty crazy. I wonder what the boxes are selling for. I haven't checked in months. Uh, 916 Collector said the boxes are going for more than you expected. How much are the boxes going for? This is Series 2. So like I said, Series 1, there's less writing on the bottom. Like the yellow part, there's less writing. That's the Series 1. That's going to have your David Robinson key rookie card. <clears throat> 17 people in here. Dan Marley. 
I believe is how you pronounce his name. Bill Wennington, Dennis Johnson, Clyde Drexler, Isaiah Thomas, there he is. Alex English. I always think he's in the Hall of Fame, but I don't think he is. Or is he? Actually, Alex English is in the Hall of Fame. What am I thinking? Okay. Bernard King. Series 1 for $40 to $60. That's actually a really good price, and that's about what I paid like three, four months ago. And that was, I mean, the Jordan, like, there's more hype around the, like the Jordans and stuff like that. But the Dave Robinson wasn't worth $500. So, let's say you bought 10 boxes for $500 and you just pull one, you know, oops, Moses Malone's not, no, I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, you pull one of his uh, PSA 10s and you've already paid for everything. Oh, there we go, Steve Kerr. It's about dang time he showed up. A little bit top heavy and, yeah, you know, it's bent on the top. It's got a little bit of a curl right there at the top. It's a, it's a tough card. You can buy these ungraded for like a buck or two. <laughs> I mean, but most of the time they're not going to be very amazing condition. Are people keeping the boxes and selling them for more? I don't know what you mean. Charles Barkley. I'm just talking what people, what they're uh, generally sell for, or what I paid anyways, was around fifty dollars ish. And they're, I mean, they're worth it. You get the Jordans, you get the David Robinson rookie. Uh, in Series 2, you get the Kerr rookie. And, of course, you got the Phil Jackson. It's like 100 bucks in a 10. I don't think these cards are going to grade very easy, though. But if you're, you know, nitpicky about which ones you send in. Oh, selling the empty box. I know what you're talking about. People open the bo boxes up and they just sell the empty boxes like a display. Such a waste of time. The only time I do that is if it was like an expensive box. Like I still have boxes from my first edition fossil. I think those boxes are like ten grand now. <laughs> I opened them up and uh, graded the set. I don't even know what my my complete set's worth now. It's got to be pushing twenty grand. But yeah, the empty boxes those would be worth selling. But like stuff like this, it's like, come on, that's dumb. Unless it's like a really expensive box that somebody like can't afford to buy and they just want to like display the box, but I just, it's kind of a waste of time. There's a Magic Johnson, Ralph Sampson, Herb Williams, Robert Parrish, PSA 10, Hunter, what's going on? Sorry if I missed your chair. So, what's everybody think for the uh, the playoffs here? Um, I don't know if the Bucks are going to make it into the finals. What about the uh, the Lakers? I haven't seen them play a game. Who are they supposed to be playing? I guess I haven't really paid attention to that. But what's going on with the Lakers, man? I think they'll make it to the finals, that's just my opinion. Celtics will move on, Clippers will probably move on. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure on the Bucks. Because they're getting beat down uh, by the Heat. I like the Miami Heat. I, I bought into quite a few Tyler Hero rookie cards, and um, that's turning out to be a pretty good investment. <laughs> uh, Lakers play tomorrow, okay. So is that their first game of the series then? I'm just wondering, because it's like some teams are already like, you know, the Celtics, they played their third game already in the series, but there was, I guess there was teams that were still finishing up their, you know, their first series and then they couldn't start their games yet. It's just kind of weird how it's all working out, I guess. Pat Riley. Clyde Drexler, James Worthy, Akeem, Kiki, Van how have I never noticed that card before? Uh, against the Rockets, for nice. Yeah, they should beat the Rockets, I think. I mean, the Rockets barely won their last series, so. Oh, we got another Steve Kerr, nice. Hopefully this one's not dinged up. Just tiny bit off center, left to right. 
Ooh, maybe a touch on that corner. Tough card, man. Tough card. Steve Kerr. I always liked Kerr, and he's, you know, had a lot of championships. Plus, you know, with his coaching. So, I think he's pretty popular. Dominique Wilkins. Charles Barkley. Rodman. And a Jordan. Nice. Base Jordan card. Is that the first? Or did we already get a base? We, are, are, we already got one. The other one was dinged in the corner. This one actually looks good. A little bit off-centered. Almost always off-centered. So pretty nice. A little fun fact. A couple years ago, I had a bunch of the All-Star ones. I sent them all to PSA, and I got like a bunch of PSA 10s. At that time, they were, I like couldn't sell them for like $35. Like I just couldn't sell them. And it was like good centering on the front and on the back. It looked like that where it was like off-centered and they still gave them all tens because it's the centering on the back doesn't matter as much as the front I just think the graders were a little bit more lenient back then as well and they've kind of tightened up I don't know if they more than likely had to hire a bunch of new graders oh, another Steve Kerr so we got three Steve Kerrs in this box that's pretty darn good um, PSA 9 yeah potentially this one's pretty badly off-centered on that top to bottom. And it's got a messed up corner too. So most of these Steve's cur the curves aren't even looking like they're grade worthy. Uh, Rodman's looking pretty decent again. I'll have to look them all over later. I'm gonna be probably pretty tight on these because like I said, some of these, they don't, they're not going for what they were. The Jordans are a hundred bucks a piece, same with the Kerr, same with the Phil Jackson. So those are worth it if you think you're gonna get a 10. But Not really anything less. We still haven't hit a single David Robinson. Of course, it's not the more expensive one, but still, 150 bucks. Like that card was like 70, 80 bucks like a few months ago. Don't know what happened to cause his prices to shoot through, shoot up. Maybe people are just you know paying a little bit more attention to the, the Hall of Famers. I know the Topps Gold uh, Shaq rookie card's really gone up as well, um, and I still have that in a PSA nine. I think I sent, I think one of my PSA orders has two or three of those in it. Um, I don't think any of them were like 10 worthy, but I picked some up in a lot off eBay and got them for a really good price. So I'm stoked to get those back. But my next PSA order, which should be showing up here within the next week, hopefully, um, has some pretty nice cards in it. Has about 70 John Morantz. He just won uh, Rookie of the Year. 99 votes out of 100 for John Morant to win Rookie of the Year. Uh, and then I was surprised Kendrick Nunn got second place. And uh, I believe Zion was third place. Another uh, with the stain in the same exact spot. Like, what the heck? The same exact. That's weird. There's Brad Sellers. Uh, 91 Upper Deck Basketball. I'd say this over 91 Upper Deck Basketball. I don't know. It's an okay set, I guess. I mean, there's a number of Jordans in it. I haven't done any 91 Upper Deck in a while. I was getting those boxes for like 22 bucks. <laughs> I don't know what they're going for now, but... They're all pretty tough as far as the grading. Because it just you don't get really good solid cards out of them. But... All right, 18 minutes. That's pretty good for box cards. Let's get into box number two. Like I said, a lot of the times these boxes, they don't come sealed or anything like that, which I'm not really too concerned with it. I mean, until you're buying boxes of cards that are like hundreds of dollars, I wouldn't even worry about it. Like you can see, like kind of some discoloring going on. What the heck happened there? All right, let's see if we do better out of this one. Let's see if we can pull out David Robinson. Just give kind of a recap. We did get three Kerr rookie cards, so that was pretty good. We got two Jordan base, and we got one Phil Jackson, and oops, and one Michael Jordan. These are all always back to back. So two Dennis Rodman, and then a Larry Bird. Not a bad box. Daniel Reinhardt, what's going on? Got Malone on the back there. Probably still some older boxes that I'd like to open, but 
kind of been holding off on the box buying for right now, just because I'd rather put my money into cards that I can grade and make money on. And once once the money starts flowing in in the next couple months, I'll have a lot more uh, expendable cash that I can kind of throw towards uh, starting to buy some boxes again. Uh, I'm not sure which ones to go for. I mean, I still want to open 90, I think it's 90, is it 95 or 96 SP? There's like some Jordans in it. Maybe it's 93. I, I'd have to look into it. And uh, there's some other boxes. Probably never going to do the Ultra. Everyone wants me to do the 93 Ultra because of the Jordan inserts. But they're always stuck together. There's our, our, our first Pippin there. And the Robinson. Apparently the Pippin and Robinson go, go back to back. I think I just forgot about that. Um, so that's that's good news. So we got the Pippin and we got the David Robinson rookie. Del Curry. So that's the one that sells for like $150-ish. You can get a PSA 10. Which, like I said, was surprising because that was always a lot cheaper than that. 96 Jordan Upper Deck Collection Jumbo Cards. I don't know too much about it. I never really bought into any of the like the Jordan like collection sets and stuff like that. And Phil Jackson and Jordan All Star, nice. So we got two back to backs in that stretch of cards there. Um, I always typically go for Jordans that are you know part of an actual like box, like you open them in a pack instead of like buying a collection, collectible collection because they're not typically going to hold high value or like go up in value a lot because they're just people bought them just simply to like hold on to them thinking that they're going to be worth a lot of money and they're you know there's no pull rates and stuff like that um it's looking pretty good a little bit off centered pretty sharp though otherwise it's probably a nine and good old scotty pippen is not looking so hot and he, he went down big time too his is this is pippen's second year card it's like you get a psa 10 for like 50 bucks so, probably not worth grading those either. All right. Yeah, the David Robinson does look pretty good. Are you uh, somebody that grades cards, ripping Vintage? Isn't there a yellow version of these cards? Um, yellow version of these cards. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, actually, I do, I do know what you mean. I think so. I don't know exactly what they came out of. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Where the, the borders, like the color of the cardstock is like uh, more yellow. But I don't know. don't know how you got those cards. But I've seen them on like eBay. And we got Hall of Famers on the back of like every pack here. So, let's see if we get lucky again. There's Moses Malone. I always want to accidentally throw him in the Hall of Fame pile. Oh, jeez. Kevin Johnson, rookie. 15 Jordans. Nice. Yeah, I took a break from buying up Jordan cards. I I've, I bought a few, and I've got a few sitting that are be going they're gonna go with my next PSA order of uh, modern, not ultra modern, but just regular modern. Ooh, we got Pippin and Robinson again. Nice. So they are back to back. So we we'll get another Jordan and um... oh, there's Spud Webb doing a dunk. It was insane, like how high he could get at five foot seven. Like, he would get full, like, arm above the, the rim. Crazy. Uh, but, yeah, I... Once again, with Jordan, you really got... You want to have a lot of money to, to buy up, like, Jordan cards. Like, to collect them and grade them and stuff. And especially, like, his in, some of his insert cards. Because I had a lot of his insert cards. $100, $200 insert cards. And I sold them all off. I want to get them again, but... um. I just don't want to get into that now until, you know, I have enough money to really throw at it. Probably in the next couple, probably by the end of the year, I'll start buying more Jordan cards. Because I, I had a few uh, PSA orders in the last few months that were, like, half Jordan cards. <laughs> but it was all stuff that we opened. Um, oops. It was all stuff that we opened out of uh, boxes. So it was, you know, it's fun. It's a fun process when you open these boxes, you pull the cards out, you grade them yourself. Then you get the PSA orders back, and it's, it's just fun. So that was kind of my, my, my main first step was 
doing this process. And then once I get all those Jordans back, and I can see which ones I have, which ones I don't have. Well, I pretty much know which ones I go for anyways, but then I can start to build my collection up even more. Um, Carson, what's going on? Yeah, so this guy, he goes by the name of Vegas Dave. He's kind of a kind of a D-bag, but um, he's got a lot of money. And uh, he was buying Trout rookie cards like a few, like two years ago. And he bought the really, really rare cards. He, he bought the 101 Super, Super Fractor off a guy from like Japan, I believe. He flew the guy out and bought it off of him for uh, 400,000. Um, people thought he was crazy and he just sold it for almost four million dollars it broke the record as the uh, most expensive baseball card ever sold also the the one he sold before that was was a red one I think it was numbered out of five and uh, it was it almost went for a million and he bought it for like seventy eighty thousand I think and um, I think he had a couple of them but he sold that he sold that one and that broke a record too I think as being like the the most a modern card went for for baseball cards so and uh yeah ripping vintage yep holy cow indeed so I've still been trying to get Mike Trout's uh not as technically his rookie card but his Topps Heritage 2012 it's like considered his Topps Heritage rookie card of course his um regular Topps Update rookie cards like I think it's like three grand in a PSA 10, maybe a thousand bucks in a nine. So I don't have one of those. Eventually, I'll probably get one because I mean it's Mike Trout. He's like the modern Mickey Mantle. <laughs> Eventually, I'll have a Mickey Mantle rookie card as well. Oh, we got another Steve Kerr. Nice. Another Steve Kerr. Little OC. Always OC. Never centered. Card 351. But yeah, um, man, I'd love to own Mickey Mantle's 52 tops, but his 51 Bowman, honestly, it's a lot cheaper. A lot, lot cheaper. I know a guy that's got a PSA 8 Mickey Mantle uh, rookie card. His tops rookie card, which is like insane. I think it's worth around 200,000, a quarter million, somewhere in there. Um, just an iconic baseball card. But trying to work up to that point. So yeah, anyways, I got a PSA order coming back here. Hopefully within the next week. It's on the last stage, so all they gotta do is like literally mark it as shipped and get it get it shipped out to me. So I'm hoping to get it within a week. But you never know with PSA. Um, hoping to get those cards back because I got like 70 John Morants. He he just won Rookie of the Year. I've got like t more than 20 uh, Zion's. I'm not sure exactly how many. Sam Bowie's got really damaged on it. I can't believe he got drafted before um, Michael Jordan. That's insane. Card you sold that you wish you hadn't. Um, I was thinking about that today. I had some some gold card or some uh, gold star Pokemon cards that you know I'll be able to buy them again and get them back. But I guess it kind of oh, there's Dave Robinson and Pippen again. Kind of wish I I guess I I would have kept them. Um, oop, Dave Robinson and Pippen again. <laughs> two times, like, in the same stretch. Like, out of five packs, we got two of them. Yeah, eventually, I'll, I'll probably try to get all the Gold Star cards. I had the Flareon, Jolteon, um, Vaporeon, and I had a couple other ones. I still have the Charizard, but it's a Japanese Charizard. I really wanted the English version. Scotty Pippen. But yeah, as far as like, I don't know, sports cards, I don't know. It's hard to say. I just sold uh, Eloy Jimenez. If you guys follow the channel, um, I had his gold autograph out of 50 from Update. And I got 
what I get, 870 bucks, something like that. I got, I got for that card. <laughs> it was like a $200 card, but I graded it, and I got a 10, and uh, so I was, I was able to make a pretty good premium on that. And I, I think Eloy's, you know, he's, I've been buying a lot of his base rookie cards and stuff like that to grade them. Um, and it would have been it would have been a nice card to keep on to, but I'd rather just cash out the eight hundred dollars and then you know flow it back into buying more cards because I know I can I can turn that eight hundred into probably like four grand pretty pretty easily. So I think I'll I'll do I'll do better <laughs> that way just selling the card. But it was a, it was a cool card. It's a cool card to own. In other news, uh, Phil's polls, <laughs> who said he wasn't going to sell a super fractor of Tatis, sold it. I think he only got like 25 grand or something. Oh, Phil Jackson and Jordan. Nice. It was the one of one Tatis Super Fractor Auto out of uh, Chrome. I believe it was Chrome Update. Or, yeah, I think so. One of the sets. Anyways, he had the, yeah, he had the one of one. He had the other ones as well. I don't know how many of them he sold. Oh, Phil Jackson and Jordan again. That's crazy. But, I would have thought he would have got more money than that, or tried to get more money. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't wait too. I mean, you know, obviously looking at it from the standpoint of yeah, he, he's really doing well, and it's Jordan and Phil Jackson again, three times in the same stack. Are you kidding me? This man, this is crazy. Larry Bird. Uh, let's see if we get it again. Ooh, I see an All Star card. Is it gonna be? There's Dennis Rodman. No, not that time. Oh, Alex English. And some of these boxes, though, you get the same, like, cards in the same order, like, over and over. Like, see this? It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, I feel like this has a long way to go as far as his prices go. If he continues to be a beast like he is, you know, I think his, his, we're not going to see his cards going for as cheap as they're going for right now. Because players like that, they just mature over time. The prices just go up and up and up. I mean, look at Trout, for instance. His just his base, his freaking base update rookie cards going for three grand. <laughs> What's well, a Tatis going for? Three hundred, you know. So add a zero to that. You know what I mean? That's your potential. So that twenty-five thousand one of one, a couple of years from now, could be going for like a quarter million. You know. If a trout can go for, you know, four million, you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean the guy's a multimillionaire, so I'm I'm sure he's not sweating it, but it's still it seemed like he put that set together, you think he would want to like hold on to him, you know what I mean? Not like just jump the gun and sell him. Because I guarantee the prices are not at the peak right now. Especially with all the people coming into baseball, you know what I mean? Sports cards in general, like Five years from now, ten years from now, I mean, I, I can guarantee you that. Almost guarantee that card's gonna be worth more than twenty-five grand, unless t you know Tatis just falls off the map or something. Have you opened Series One? Uh, yes, I have on this on this product. Oh, and look at that, Michael Jordan. So I guarantee. If, uh, well, that's not the one with Phil Jackson in front of it, is it? No. Uh, but yeah, I've opened Series One on this. Yep. If that's the Series One you're talking about. But yeah, I've been uh, snagging up some Tatis, Tops Holiday, specifically his, the card where he's got the um, Stockton and Alex English back to back. So you know we're going to get more Jordans in here. And Phil Jackson, Stu, see, Stu Jackson, Jay Vincent, Larry Bird, it's the same order, man. This is crazy. Um, do, 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 do. Clear 92.93, two Jordans. Hmm. Yeah, I I didn't care for 92.93 Fleer just because of the centering was always off on those cards. But if you're talking Series 2, you had the Shaq and the Alonzo Mourning. But if you're talking Series 1, oh, there's our Jordan right there. Um, yeah, I just... It's an alright set. But those Jordans, you can buy PSA 10s for like 100 bucks, so it's like... And the boxes are up there like seventy, eighty dollars. So I just it w doesn't seem worth it to me to buy the bo you know buy the boxes um, 
for that kind of cost and then take the risk and try to get try to get your money back out of it. I think that box was the one that had the all star the all star cards though, and I I really wanted to pull that all star Jordan. Uh, we didn't pull it. I think I can't remember how many cards are in that set, but you don't have a super good odds of actually getting that card out of that box. But it was fun to try. Yeah, there's a few sets like that that have some pretty cool like insert Jordans that you could potentially pull. The other uh, the Fleer set I liked was the one with um. The Kevin Garnett. It was a 95. It had the Kevin Garnett rookie card. And it had some really cool insert sets. That was a really fun box opening. And I've got those Kevin Garnett's going to PSA. He's going to be going into the Hall of Fame here in about, I don't know, six months or whatever. Whenever they, they're clear to do that. So I think those could go up. You've had good luck buying them raw. There you go. Oh, a nice Steve Kerr. That one looks decent on the centering. So still, with the uh, David Robinson, we've only pulled, what, one of them? Or no, we, pu we pulled a few, that's right. We got them, like, close together. We got a bunch of them. Mark Price, James Worthy. We're not worthy. Sometimes they, they have one card that's flipped upside down. Dominique Wilkins. Barkley, Chris Mullen. Is anybody uh, catching the end of the game for the Clippers? I'm sure they won. They were up by a pretty good lead. Ooh, there we go. We got a Jordan. He's got a little ding in the corner, but give him a can. Take a quick look see at that one. Yeah, some of these are just coming out of the packs with like dings. It's off center too, but. These cards are pretty cheap, like a couple bucks if you just buy them ungraded. Uh, got four Michael Jordan cards on a booster box. Target. Nice. World's Greatest Chase. Huh. World's Greatest Chase. Interesting. Is that made by Upper Deck then? Because usually you only get Jordan cards out of um, Upper Deck because he's not in Panini. So, alright. Steve Kerr, rookie card. A little off center. All right, that's two boxes. Let's go ahead and get into box number three, I guess. Why the heck not? These packs are like shifted around in these boxes. That's one thing I don't like about these older boxes without the plastic on them. Oh yeah, the total O's. Yeah, and I pulled the, um, was it, did I pull the total O Jordan? I think so. And the total D, yeah. Those were cool. I don't think we opened a box that had the total D, but we did the total O. And then they had the packs where you get like a whole pack of insert cards. We got that pack. We got their complete set minus the Jordan card. It was every card in the set minus the Jordan card. And we got like one double. I was like, what the heck? But it was the hot pack. And the hot pack stamped card is actually worth less than the regular card. But, yeah, those, those uh, boxes with the hot packs, those are pretty cool. Draw time cards, what's up? New product that just came out. They have their own website. Ten different packs in a box. Skybox, NBA Hoops, etc. Wow. So is it at is it at Walmart, Nick? Target. Oh, you said Target. Okay. Because I did not see one at Target, but yeah, that sounds like a cool box. I'll definitely um, pick one up or pick a couple up if uh, if I see them. I'm Wilkins. But yeah, if I hit a Target, I'll definitely look. Odds are they. Somebody snagged them up if, if they did hit the shelf. They sound pretty cool. So it's just, it's older packs like these packs in them. And then you, you have it, you're chasing after whatever the chase is. So they basically, they did that with the, uh, I've seen those before. Worth driving to Walmart, illusion cards. 
Um, I would say you're, pretty, you're you're gonna have a tough time finding them, unless you know like when they stock or whatever. Cause I I haven't found any. I'm not like a huge fan of the illusion set, but it'd be nice to get some and open them. But all I've seen is empty boxes, so you gotta get there right away. And a George and a Phil Jackson. And an Alex English and a John Stockton. My new bull. His son, Bull Bull, man, people went crazy over his card. Like, literally, just from a scrimmage game. And uh, I looked at the prices and, like, man, people are out of their freaking mind. And then the price, of course, came down. So, it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty dumb. I sent a few of his rookie cards, though, to PSA. His, uh, I think it's Prison Rookies. I think I did, anyways. Keith Terrell, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, if you're going to Walmart just looking for that, I mean, you're going to have a hard time. Um, looking for Chronicles. Yeah, Chronicles is tough too. I didn't find any Chronicles at Walmart. Just empty boxes. Yeah, he's not even in the playoffs exactly. I don't even think he's played really much in the year. Oh, we got a Phil Jackson. Ah, oh, we got shorted out of the Jordan. Doggone it. Jordan All-Star is supposed to be right behind Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson is the last guy in the pack, so we got screwed there. But, what are you going to do? Yeah, the playoffs have been pretty good. There's been a lot of close matches, you know. A lot of close games, buzzer beaters. I mean, today with the... Celtics game, that was pretty crazy. And Anobi with the half a second left, corner three. Just clutch. So they get down three to one in that series and it's already over. But I still don't think they are they have a chance against the Celtics. They just kind of got lucky. Phil Jackson and nothing behind him. Uh, I don't specifically go for any team. I'm, I'm no longer like stuck to a certain team just because the Bulls were always my team but after the Jordan and everyone retired and left the Bulls I just stopped watching basketball for quite a while and uh, so yeah they just don't have good coaching maybe one day if they get better but now I mean once you're once you're kind of into the game as like an investor and collector and everything, you just like sports in general and not specifically like one team. Just uh, targets or WalMarts. It just depends. I mean, I don't have as many targets that I can really go to, so. But it just depends on when they stock and if you get there and you're lucky and all that stuff. I mean, I got you know. I've gotten lucky at both Walmarts and Targets, so I can't really say. Seems like Walmarts, though, are, like, way more cleared out. Like, just completely cleared out, but... 1990 boxes for 20 bucks. Nice. Wabza. Which, uh, 90 1990 boxes? Lakers versus Heat in the finals? Hmm. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, the Heat, the heat, or the heat got it going on, man. That's going to be really good. But we'll see what happens. Spud Webb. Jody Mars. NBA Hoops 1990. Yeah, those those boxes are about 20 bucks. That's what I picked them up for. At least a Series 1. That's another box we haven't opened is the Series 2. But you got, you know, Jordan cards, All-Star, regular card. Barkley, or not Barkley, but Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, um, Phil Jackson, all the same same ones as this set. And then you also have uh, Sean Kemp rookie. It's a pretty good one. Here's our, I think, one of our first Magic Johnson base cards. I haven't seen too much of that card. It seems like that card, you don't see it too much in Series 2. And another Phil Jackson with no Jordan behind it. Talk on it. 90 hoops or 89? I like 89 better. Just... With the white borders and the cardstock and everything, 
I like it more. Plus, you get, you know, the David Robinson rookies, and it's just, in my opinion, it's a better deal, especially if you're going to grade any cards. Not that, you know, all of these are gradable or anything, but just seem to be better quality, in my opinion. All right. Yeah, mostly Dave Robinson, Jordan. Um, you got the Phil Jackson. He's about 100 bucks in a 10. And then also the um, the uh, Steve Kerr. It's like over 100 bucks. Those are the main the main ones out of here. But we haven't hit any Dave Robinsons in a while. It seems like one box you'll get a bunch, and the other box you get like nothing. It's probably be the last box of the night. I think three boxes is kind of enough. Ten tops Shaq rookies. Nice. Yeah, I pulled a ton of those. We did a bunch of box openings on the series two tops. So we got a ton, a ton of tops. I, I still actually have some of the Shaq and the Lonzo Morning tops rookies that I need to send off to PSA. What about Del Curry? Um I think he's worth a whole lot. So Pokemon cards graded, are they worth more? Yeah, when you get them graded, yeah, Pokemon cards for sure. I mean, it depends all on the cards. I only go for, like, the really rare stuff. The hyper rares, like the rainbow cards. And the gold cards. Like, I like the setup. Oh, we got, there's our Jordan All-Star card. Not, he's behind a Kevin McHale instead of the Phil Jackson, but that's weird. Um, the... Now with the new set, the Sun and Moon, not Sun and Moon, but Sword and Shield Pokemon, I, I really like the setup. With less Hyper Rares, they got the Rainbow uh, Trainer cards. Here's the, the So those were the two Jordans that we didn't get behind the, um, uh, every time. We didn't get them behind the Phil Jackson, so they were right there. But there's like f maybe four or five Rainbows, like two or three Full Art Trainer Rainbows. And then you get like two gold cards in every set. So it's a really good layout. You're not having to buy like 15, 20 different cards. So I've, I've got them all and uh, they're all all ready to get graded. Um, I'm going to be doing a, like a Pokemon PSA order. Probably the, probably the end of the month. I'm still waiting for that set. Um, the holiday set. Which is um, supposed to be out here in the next uh, few weeks. So I should be getting those boxes. We got 10, 10 of the uh, Elite Trainer boxes coming, hopefully as long as they don't like, cancel my orders. And each one of those boxes had a Charizard promo card. And last time I checked the promo, um, Charizards were like 35 bucks by themselves. So that card alone pays for the entire box. And I'm, uh, I'm not 100% sure what cards are in that set yet, Champion's Path. Um, people are thinking it's gonna be like uh, Hidden Face, which Hidden Face was like a once in a generate, like once in a decade set. I felt like because it there was you had the shiny vault collection, which had like 90 cards in it, which was freaking nuts. 35 shiny GX cards, including Charizard, and then you had uh, was it 45 regular shiny cards? Uh, it was nuts, absolutely nuts. One of these days I'll do a video on the Shiny GX set. I've, I'm still getting some of the cards back from PSA to like complete that set out in PSA 10. I only have a few left. I got the Charizards coming back here with the next PSA shipment. Those are, I'm 99% sure they're, they're both 10s. Unless somebody at PSA is smoking something. Because they're, they're dead on on the center, centering and the card quality on that set was really really well all the sets the new sets Ralph Sampson that was another thing I like the uh, cardstock quality that Pokemon is using so it makes it really easy to buy into the, the newer cards because you know you're gonna get tens unless there's some sort of issue with the card scr surface scratches or uh, something weird other than that it's looking like most of my cards are gonna come back tens so it's just real easy. Samson is in the Hall of Fame? Okay. I I thought he was. Drexler, Andrew Johnson. Ralph Samson. I'll pull him out later. 
can't be asked to go back through all these cards. Moses Malone. Moses Malone. Yeah, Moses Malone was in the Hall of Fame. What am I? <laughs> I was thinking oh, there's so many Mal Jeff Malone. Maybe I was thinking that he's not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I would never work for PSA, no. Couldn't pay me enough money to work for someone ever again. Just had too, too many bad experiences. Uh, we got Reggie Miller. Pat Riley. Plus, they, they, they're in, like, California. I know they have another location, like, out east or whatever. But you couldn't pay me to live in California. We got Jeff Hornacek. Hornacek. Rookie card. Uh, Kevin Johnson. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. Some I usually just sell them off or whatever. I don't spend a lot of time with like low dollar cards. It's just too much tedious work. But I do have stacks of like all these guys' as rookie cards. Danny Ainge. Man, we are just getting kicked in the balls on these David Robinson rookie cards for whatever reason. Seem to be few and far between with that Scotty Pippen card. Joe DeMars. You get any big names in there? Let me see here. Got the Magic Johnson. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, we got like six packs left here, and then we'll just call the night. I'm getting kind of sweaty. I need to turn the air on again. Get caught up on the baseball games today. I watched the basketball game highlights. Of course, the Clippers game hadn't finished yet, so... I'm just going to say that they more than likely won. Selling or buying cards using Facebook. Um, personally, I don't do it. Um, I mean, you might be able to find some good deals, but... What I've always found is that people always want like way more money than the stuff's even worth. In my experience, I don't know if they're thinking like... Somebody's gonna come in and like offer them like half or a third of what they're asking for it or whatever. But it's just, I mean, I bought a few things in the past off Facebook, but as far as spending a bunch of time looking through Facebook trying to find somebody that's selling something or getting in groups, and it's just too much of a headache for me. I I could just rather just buy the stuff off eBay. Plus, I'm taxes I'm tax exempt on there anyways, and I get rewards, so I just get all the stuff. Click the mouse, get the stuff shipped to me. It's all in just one place. I don't have to worry about figuring out where I bought what and how much I paid and all that other nonsense. Because the bookkeeping can get kind of annoying. So for me, I just don't even bother with Facebook or any of the other websites or anything like that. You have to deal with somebody and then try to figure out payment and then they could try to scam you. And There's just so many different time-consuming, so many reasons why I don't like it whatsoever uh, but I mean I did I did uh, have a group where a guy had a box of cards and I was like yeah I'll get it blah 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 and I bought the cards and he shipped them to me and everything there's Moses um, and it worked out really good I pulled uh, <laughs> I gave him $75 for a box of optic and I pulled the um, John Morant checkerboard freaking insane card it's like probably gonna be a thousand dollar card once I you know once I sell it or whatever uh, out of a box, I gave him 75 bucks for it, so I was pretty stoked on that. But stuff like that, just I, I don't know, I just get really lucky, I guess. Uh, where are the MJs? Yeah, we didn't get any um, Jordans. We'll count the Jordans up, though, out of three boxes here. There's a Phil Jackson. So, Jordan All-Stars, Jordan Base, got a lot of them. Five All Stars, six All Stars. There's David Robinson. There's Steve Kerr. Oop. So we didn't get as many as the. I mean, we got three, four David Robinson. Got a ton of Jordans. So we got four David Robinson rookies. This is the one you get out of Series Two. It's not worth as much. It's like 
150 and a PSA 10. The other one's like 550 and a PSA 10. And then we got the Steve Kerr rookies, one, two, three, four, five. So like one and a half a box. Quite a few Phil Jacksons, Pippins. Um, the Jordan base card, I think we only got like four. Seems like the base cards out here are like harder to get. Then the All-Stars, you just get over and over again. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Jordan All-Stars. So 12 Jordans all together out of three boxes. That's four Jordans per box. That's that's pretty good odds. I'd say overall we did pretty good. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Ja, I have a ton of Zion's Jaw Hero. Uh, holding on to them. Do, do, do. Sending PSA. Uh, you, you really got to know what you're doing if you're going to send them to PSA. And PSA is like pretty slow unless you have like really high dollar cards and you're willing to, you're willing to pay a lot of money per card. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you actually know what you're doing. Um, as far as selling them or buying them, yeah, it's completely up to you. You know, it's... Do you, do you want to hold them for a collectible or are you just you want to sell them and just cash the money or I think Zion's a little risky I like John Morant I've been buying some John Morants but I mean we can always say you know all oh, the cards might go up in price a lot or whatever but you never know you know what I mean you never know Zion could end up getting really hurt or have a crap career or whatever um Tyler Hero I was buying him before he really took off and I've got a bunch of his that I, I'm selling off. Pretty much I grade everything that I, that's gradable, and then the ones that aren't gradable, I'll just sell them off because I already know they're not going to get grade 10, so I can just sell them off or whatever. You could potentially make off of that box. I'm not sure. This box here, I don't know. I don't know. It all depends on how these cards work out. I mean, I still got to look them all over. A lot of them are off-centered. Some of them have little ding corners. There will be a handful of these that I grade, and, you know, those that I grade... There's definitely some money to be made if any of them get tens. I mean, most of the Jordan All Stars I think were off centered. Unfortunately, some of them are pretty bad. Same. It's it's tough on these cards. It really is. So, but they're fun, and uh, the boxes are cheap. I paid like thirty five bucks a box. Uh, Surprise, the Lodge ones aren't worth more. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the Lajuan rookie card is 86 Fleer. I still gotta get. I still gotta get one of those. That's really gone up in price. Mostly on the 86 Fleers, I'm buying the PSA eights on most of the players. So, but yeah, just any like a Lajuan out of 89 or whatever is not really that big of a deal. But definitely his rookie or like a second year card. Uh, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, we can get some cards and do some openings here and hopefully get that PSA order back here soon because uh, I'm dying to get those cards back and get them up for sale and get some money flowing in so I can start buying some more good stuff but hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any comments in the comment section any questions or anything thanks for watching have a good weekend and we'll see you in the next one